The pilot for The Amazing Digital Circus finally released. This 25 minute show featured a bunch of secrets and references that you may have missed in your first viewing. In this video I'll go through them all and showcase the things you may have missed. So right at the beginning in the theme song when Kaufman was supposed to show up, we instead see a cardboard cutout of him that falls over and has disclaimer text, saying he didn't show up today. We learn later in the episode that the reason he doesn't show up is because he went insane and got abstracted. Ragatha's design is a reference to Raggedy Ann from the 1977 film Raggedy Ann and Andy, a musical adventure. I didn't catch this the first time I watched, but the reason Gangle is sad the whole episode is because she has two masks, and the happy mask was broken when Pomni shoved everyone. Gangle's design is a reference to the comedy and tragedy masks of theatre. Kane's design is based on a chattering teeth toy. When Pomni is getting a tour by Kane, he glitches for a moment and plays a dial-up internet sound effect. His eyeballs show a Windows blue screen error. When the gang walk down the hallway, on either side of them are doors to different human rooms. On one of the rooms we can see a mannequin. What you'll notice is that there's more than six doors, which mean that all of the past doors are for humans that died or went insane, and that's why there's an X through the portraits on the doors. On the first door on the left it's a little hard to see, but we can make out two eyes, two appendages that resemble a jester's hat on their head, and several different coloured balls on their purple body. On the door on the right we see a pink slimy creature with one eye in the middle of its head. On door two we see an orange dog. Across was the door for an orange and green anteater looking character. Across from Ragatha's is a mannequin. Personally, my theory is that the mannequin doors represent doors not occupied by a human yet. This explains why there isn't an X on them, since they aren't alive, and we see mannequins later in a room with Kane. Pomni's portrait is a reference to the sad Spongebob meme face. The door after Jax's showcases a female queen looking character. This character is also dead, so they probably were introduced around the time that Kinger appeared in the circus. Kinger's door is right after hers, which adds to this theory. After Kinger, is another mannequin. After the mannequin is Zubel's door. We see another mannequin door and then Kofmo's. Across from Kofmo's door is Gangle's. The up close scene of Pomni is a reference to a popular meme slash format, but I can't remember the name, so if you do know it, let me know in the comments. One door up from Kofmo's is another mannequin. One door up from the mannequins is another dead character. It's hard to see clearly, but they look to have a yellow and blue body. Inside Kofmo's room, scribbled all over the walls, are the word exit. In one frame, we see three portraits. One shows a dark green exit hallway, the second shows a dark orange hallway, and the last one shows a creepy Kofmo image. In the next frame we see a drawing of Kofmo with the text, no exit beside it. The other portrait shows some faces on some type of pot. On the left we see a drawing of something with two eyes. On Kofmo's bed it says can't sleep, on the opposite end it says what did the... In the next frame we can see a little more of the bed, but it's blocked by building blocks. It looks like it says, what did something say to something? On the wall we can see the full drawing from before. We can see now that it shows a large cane with Kofmo running from him. It is the text, no way out beside it. In the next frame we see some more secrets. We see a portrait of Kofmo with no way out again, one of a dark doorway. One shows the abstract eyes. The next shows the abstract eyes looking at Kofmo in the doorway. We see another portrait of Kofmo with scribbles on it saying, what did the exit say to the clown? In the frame after we see a better look at the person's door behind Ragatha. They're a turquoise sock puppet looking character with blue ears and a red flower on their head. When Kofmo attacks Ragatha on the left, we see the yellow and blue character on the door from earlier. They resemble a clown. While Pomni runs, we see a blue character on a door. We see the purple character again from earlier. So from all the doors, we can see that there is at least eight other humans it died before Pomni arrived. There's also plenty of empty doors, so we'll likely get introduced to new characters as the show progresses. Their appearances also seem to follow various themes, with some characters resembling clowns, while others resemble sock puppets, toys, and games. When Jax goes down the slide, it says radical on the wall. When he kicks the last pin, it says spare. While in the exit door area, there's some creepy portraits on the walls. They remind me of the back rooms. Pomni enters a room that resembles one from the Stanley Parable game. We see a computer setup and what appears to be a VR headset on the right. We see the light on the computer flicker at the end of the episode, so it's got some significance in the lore of the show. On the wall we see the CNA logo. Some people have been speculating that this stands for Kane and Abel. Perhaps the entire company was owned by Kane and the humans are employees trapped in the circus. In the next shot we see Kane at a restaurant. At the bottom of the screen we see a phone number which I don't think has been deciphered yet, and a link to a website. If you visit the website we see this trailer video. I'll let the footage roll. You're watching Glitch Productions. Hey Kane, what's up? Can't talk? M makes sense. You're probably getting ready for the big release of the amazing big release of Digital Circus. Why don't you show the folks at home a little what you've been working on? Join Pomni, Jax, Ragatha, 
Jack, and all the gang in the amazing digital circus. An immersive experience like never before. <laughs> in this wacky place, new friends lurk around every corner. And with our new experimental hardware that gets you awesome visuals and lifelike audio, it's like you're really stuck, 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 stuck in there with everyone. Buy it now and you'll even get a limited edition Digital Circus Glorb Stick. Offer invalid in New Jersey. Jersey. The amazing maze Digital Glorb Stick Circus. Your adventures are limited only by your imagination. One of my Discord members suggested this to me, but the premise of the show seems to be somewhat similar to the anime Sword Art Online, where people put on the VR headset to play the game and instead get stuck inside it. Kane throws Kofmo into the cellar below the circus. This looks to be an area full of abstracted entities, so it's likely where other past humans were put once they went crazy. The pilot ends with a zoom out to the computer from earlier, only this time it's switched on. So yeah, that's all of the cool details and secrets I noticed while watching the amazing digital circus pilot. If you have any theories or things I might have missed, be sure to to leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.